Canada has now set its record for national temperature for the third day in a row at 49.6 degrees Celsius today, which is about 121 degrees American. And I've noticed Bitcoin always seems to surge after or during a disaster. This is after the Miami building collapsed, and then this is during the three-day heat wave. So just something to note. And it's my job as your planetary defense commander to give you all a heads up when things are about to get really messy, strange, and dangerous. And so we have reason to believe that the Mars-Saturn-Uranus brawl will get most intense around July 1st and July 3rd. So be ready, be prepared, and the energy will probably be weird to like the 9th of July. All right, I am your planetary defense commander, and for almost five years, I've been doing a monthly fundraiser to keep Thor News up and running. And so I got a little over four days left in July's fundraiser with only $1,717 left to raise. If you'd like to contribute, I got a snail mail, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, and a whole lot of thanks to give to everybody in Asteroid Fight Club, including Carolyn, Loretta, Arnica, and I really can't believe I've been doing it like this successfully for five years. Okay, let's get to the das disaster and risk communication efforts that I do. So we've seen a lot of wildfires today, including British Columbia and Canada. I was just thinking it's weird when like two fires hundreds of miles apart from each other erupt at the same time. So they look like volcanoes, but they're wildfires. And this feels like volcano weather because a stranger tormenta bury a city, Francesca, with a deluge of granzino, which I'm pretty sure means hail. So it was the hottest of worlds and it was the coldest of worlds, depending on where you are. We are tracking Invest 97L and it has potential to be dangerous to not only Puerto Rico, Cuba, but possibly the Gulf of Mexico. The very latest GFS run has Invest 97 rolling underneath Puerto Rico and the Turks and Caicos and then moving up and shredding itself over the high terrain of Cuba. But then after it moves into the Gulf, it reforms and becomes a tropical storm making landfall in Destin slash Miramar, Florida. This is still about eight days out. We are going to definitely track this one every step of the way because it has very dangerous potential. Technically, we're t tracking two things, but I would guess that one will come out of it will be potentially dangerous, but hopefully Atmospheric Defense Team Prayer Warriors and Atmospheric Fight Club can work its magic. But don't depend on that because... That hurricane slash tropical storm slash depression falls within our 10 day, 14 day window. You know, we're on super high red alert until July 10th. And so we should stay alert. Here's another look at some of the fires in Canada. Look at that one explode, man. That's just, it's a weird world we live in. So Canada's dealing with a heat wave and then fires and floodwaters inundating this mountain road in British Columbia after the historic heat wave triggered a significant amount of snow melt, according to Canadian officials. So, you know, lots of prayers and good vibrations and healing aspects being sent to the Canadian ways. Tomorrow, we're definitely looking at a very, very solid chance of strong to severe storms Wednesday. Afternoon to break the heat. It's also been really hot in the northeast. And I've noticed when we get these giant heat waves like in the west, there will usually be one or two very bad storms counterpart to the east. So stay on top of it. If you are in any of these places like Lowell, Worcester, Leo Minster, Amherst, Springfield, or Lee, or Pittsfield, is this in the United States of America? I guess it is. That was a joke. My antibiotics are still messing me up. WX Atlantic. It appears that a wildfire is producing a tornado near Mount Hebron, California. 
Yeah, the um, lava fire near Mount Shasta, very close to weed, is messing with everybody's ha happy camp. I don't think the world is going to end this month or this year, but it's probably going to feel kind of bleak for the next week. Okay, great. I just rhymed. I thought that helped the situation. But here, this is kind of like the pulse I always talk about. And so you get the heat pulse and then you get the rain pulse. But, you know, you're getting colder temperatures on this side. Earth, it really is like a McDLT. But we are definitely going through some crazy shit. And I don't know why I'm extra stressed out about the fundraiser this month. So if you'd like to alleviate my stress, every dollar helps. And, oh, I sure would love a miracle or two. You know how to do it, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. Jackson Dill is always as cool as a pickle. Showing us a rare subtropical storm swirling off the South American coast today. Yeah, everything seems rare and out of the normal. So, you know, we are definitely on high alert for about 11 more days. But remember, we've survived everything before this, so we will probably survive this. Oregon looks like it broke its state record today with 118 degrees. This is verified and certified, allegedly. Yeah, it's weird as a guy in the middle. It's like the Grand Solar Minimum guys are like, no matter what happens, this proves we're in Grand Solar Minimum. And then the man-caused ch climate change people are like, no matter what happens, this this proves man-caused climate change. And I, uh, But no matter what, I don't know how a carbon tax helps anything if you really look into it. And I'm definitely not trying to kick any beehives, but uh, we have three sunspots on the sun right now and we are still about four years away from solar maximum so it looks like all predictions for grand solar minimum are a total fail and especially since the grand solar minimum is supposed to be connected to the very low and cold temperatures that we're supposed to be seeing now remember this has been advertised to us since 2015 and so you know it's one thing to sell a grand solar minimum during a solar minimum but it's another thing to sell it during a major heat wave and as the sun is re-waking up. But hey, we all live in some type of fantasy world these days to get by in life. So go ahead and believe whatever the hell you want to believe, dude. Okay? I know the entire truth community is in love with the like, yeah, it's mini ass age and the sun is totally going to sleep. Whatever. Having a crazy storm in Albany. I think that's Canada. They got hail and winds. Smoke factor is going to be off the charts. Oh, man, it's going to be a really bad wildfire season. I think it's like the first week and a half of summer. So definitely expect more drought problems, more power problems, and more water problems. Zell Arts of Team Cyberpunk letting us know at 4.20 p.m. they were getting golf ball-sized hail in Nevada, Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. And so we have three Saturn Uranus squares this year. The first one was in the middle of February, where like 400 people died in a giant freeze wave in Texas. And so at our second Uranus Saturn square, we've now had up to 233 people die in British Columbia from the heat wave. They're calling it sudden heat deaths, which is really weird. And then we have our third Saturn Uranus square in December. Remember, I still think for whatever reason, November, and part of December are going to be the worst and most challenging months of the year. So just keep your game faces on all year, man. Here, we are watching the lava fire do its thing. And by that, I mean smoke out. U.S. Stormwatch, dual pyrocumulus plumes on both the lava fire and the tenant fire behind Mount Shasta on the right side. And so they look like volcanoes, but they say they're wildfires. Indiana has been having some severe thunderstorms, as have a lot of people around the Great Lakes and the Ohio Valleys. Weather deck showing us that crazy rare spinning parallel storm to Uruguay and Brazil coasts. Uh, you got quite a few flash flood warnings in Utah and Arizona, which means Taylor Swift is probably getting wet today. Those monsoon storms are quite visible on the radar. It is monsoon season. Yeah, the Shasta fires are crazy. But see how it's always like two of them. Boom, boom, 
boom, boom. All pretty much the same time. Strange days indeed, my friends. Yeah, boobs in your face, Arizona. Heads up, an area of blowing dust will be moving across I-40 near Winslow. Oh, that was like an hour ago, sorry. Man, 5 volt is pissed. There is an Australian mice plague tormenting farmers and locals and even forced a prison evacuation. So this kind of answers the question of would you rather fight one giant rhinoceros or a thousand little rhinoceroses? Apparently, like, thousands of mice can be a problem, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And car deaths are up like 26%. And road rage incidents are way up. Man, so people, please stay cool. Trying to have more patience with each other. And Enrique swirls on past Sinola. And remember we had that big volcano eruption in Costa Rica earlier? You can check out the video I made earlier on it if you'd like. Europe has been having its own issues with flooding and severe weather. Here we're looking at Eigelschoven, Kierkegaard, Kierkegaard, and Limburg. Um, I'm always a little punch drunk at the end of every month because being your planetary defense commander isn't always fun in games. Definitely the last few years have been challenging. But I will continue to track all the things for you guys, and I just ask that you stay cool and do your best to keep the faith, my friends. And if you can and would like to, contribute to donate to keep Thor News up and running, because I'm going to do my best as your planetary defense commander to keep it all together. You're kind of like the son of Big Lebowski. I'm like the room that brings it all together, or whatever, you know. <laughs> I got a snail mail. I would love a letter. A PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron, and only $1,717 left to go with four days or so left. But super duper thank you to Carolyn, Loretta, Arnica, and everybody out there in Asteroid Fight Club. The fact that I've been able to do this this way for five years, or even do Thor News for eight years and I'm still alive, that still blows my mind, man. And I didn't want to join the Grand Solar Minimum Mini Ice Age gang, and I didn't want to join the carbon tax will save us gang and i like asteroid fight club oh yeah it's true i do tut tut the astronaut's favorite weatherman jim tang says for june this is insane okay insanity we're kind of used to it talk to y'all soon god bless everyone